Going on holiday can be stressful at the best of times, but when you're five months pregnant, what is a girl supposed to take? One thing that will definitely be going in my suitcase is this floral dress. Flowers are really big this season. It's light, it's airy, it's easy to wear, and it gives somebody that doesn't wear very much flowers and girly things a chance to feel really feminine when they're away on holiday. Now, a really big tip is all about accessories, and I am a really big fan of scarves. I love wearing a scarf because I find it really versatile, and it's really good at taking a daytime outfit into the evening just by simply dressing it up with a bit of color and a little bit of texture. Always take at least one hat with you. Not only does it protect your face from sun damage, when I'm pregnant, I suffer really bad with pigmentation, so I find it helps protect my skin. Ladies, let's get serious. How many pairs of shoes do you need to take on holiday? Well, for me, I need to take at least two pairs of sandals, always a great pair of wedges, definitely a pair of Converse as I'm always running around after a four-year-old, a pair of pumps, and the essential and very glamorous high heel stiletto. I always take a fresh summery scent with me, one that suits me for the beach and of an evening, and one of my particular favourites is Joe Malone. Angelique Mother and Baby Massage Balm is one of my favourite products. I use it on myself, my little boy, and I'll be using it on the new baby. Dermalogica Sunscreen is great for sensitive skin, which means it's good for the whole family. Let's see if I can get it in the case. Well, that's it, all packed up and ready to go. And one last bit of advice, if you can get your hands on a bit of a stylish case, then go for it. See ya. And Louise is here now, and it's great to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. How far along are you? Five months. Gosh, you look great. Lovely little bump. Yeah, well, I, I've kind of expanded everywhere, but you do, don't you? I'm oh, of course you do. Accepting it's it. fine. It's fine. So yeah. when's the due date then? Must be um, like November? Very early November. Yeah, Fantastic. first week of November. Oh, that's so. great. And it's brilliant because I know that you, you tried really, you know, you had a bit of a struggle with the first one, with your yes. wee boy. It took a while for you to conceive. Yeah. Um, so obviously much wanted little yeah. boy. But yeah. this was kind of like, well, hey, I, I don't know what happened. It's like I'm two different people. It took me four years to get Charlie. And yeah. I, I spoke about it very openly because I think it's something, I think when you're in the public eye, women think everything goes so for sure. perfectly. Mm. And it was a real struggle for us. After four years, I didn't think it was going to happen. This one, four weeks. Excellent. <laughs> what well done. David's very proud of himself. <laughs> I bet he is. I bet he's. And how are you feeling this time round? Yeah, okay? I get really bad sickness. For the oh. first four or five months, I, um, I do struggle with the mm. sickness. But I'm turning the corner now, which is quite nice. So I can start to enjoy it. And, good, you good. Know, eat that what sort I of want. glowing phase <laughs> yes. where you just feel, yeah, you, yeah, before you get too... Yeah. Too big. Yeah, you I, get I kind of like good. a six week period, don't sure. you? Where you can actually think, okay, I've got a, a bump, I can still fit, fit in things and I don't feel ill anymore. So, so how do you think Charlie's going to cope with a new brother or sister? Do you know, he's such a sociable child good. that I think he's so excited. I, I, I wanted, obviously, this baby for myself and Jamie, but I think for him, mm. it's equally as important. He's so sociable. Sure. He's very excited. And it's quite a nice age gap because it's not too big. With me and my brother, it was six years and we fought yeah. all the time because yeah. it was just too, you yeah. know, it was just too big, I think, in some ways. And then you, you You've had time to enjoy him. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, and he'll be at school time. when the baby comes along. Yeah, so that's quite good. Yeah, and then oh, we can still good. kind of carry on. Mm. You know, I like to spend time with Jamie. I like to go to work. So it doesn't feel that I'm going to have too much going on sure. that I can't go and do anything. And I guess with, with what you do, because obviously we've seen you presenting, you've done, I remember you did that fantastic size zero thing, which obviously you wouldn't want to be doing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm far and away from that absolutely. now. Absolutely. <laughs> and the clothes show as well. So yeah. clearly you still be wanting to work, you know, once, yeah. once yeah. Um, the, the baby's here. It's all I've ever known to work. Since being in Eternal at such a young age, I, mm. I enjoy work and I enjoy having my own career. Mm. But having a family, it's just, I think you get older and your life just grows and you take different paths. And I think you make different choices. You know, luckily in this kind of career, you can make choices to suit your family. Sure. You know, so I'm very fortunate in that way. Oh, that's great. So see what happens. You yes. see, see, yeah, see, what, see what comes, comes along, along. That's for sure. <laughs> now, we saw you, very organised women we saw there, you know, oh. getting your holiday uh, well, case all, all packed, which <laughs> is very good. But you know what it's like when you've got kids. It's like oh. you're going on an expedition to the Antarctic. And I, so I, much stuff. I take everything. Like mm. you, oh, you saw the shoes. I really do take that many shoes with me because I just know that I like to be comfy. I like to still go out and have an evening 
evening out. So, um, and I always make the mistake of taking things that I wear in the UK. But you know, when you go on holiday, you don't actually wear mm. things that you wear here. I end up always wearing a bit the same thing yes, all the time. Here. Yep. Especially same if you're in a place and you can you can get you know you can wash them as well. Yeah. You know, I just, I just wear the same I've thing just come back and I think I wore the same dress about three times. <laughs> it was comfortable. It was hot, and you know I could wear it with my flip flops. And you think you're going to wear all tight trousers and want to get mm. dressed up, comfy, and you actually comfy, comfy. don't when you get there. Absolutely. Well, that is beautiful. What you're wearing there. That's oh. a perfect sort of summer yes. pregnancy outfit. Yes. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's sunny day. All the best. Bring the baby in. When he or she is here, I'd love to have a cuddle. <laughs> okay, I will. It's great to see you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you.